It was brought to my attention by one of the members on IREX Network named Eve that in my last video I had set Blender up incorrectly and it was only rendering with a single thread so that's why it was only making use of one of the machine's CPUs in order to render this scene. So I've just pre-rendered the scene using a single thread and it took 9 minutes and 16 seconds and 53 split seconds to render. So I'm now going to go ahead and set the system up to render with four threads and render it again and let's see how the system performs. Okay, immediately in the performance window here you see that the CPU is now being used to 100% and both CPUs are operating at 100% if you look at the graphs. And you can immediately see that there's a difference to the way the scene was being rendered the last time I rendered it. The last time it was one block at a time. Here you have four blocks being rendered simultaneously. It definitely is rendering a lot faster this time. So let's see if we get double the performance. One thing you do notice when looking at the system's performance monitor is how efficient the system is with regards to its memory usage. It's got 512 megs of RAM installed and it's only using a fraction of that to operate at this moment and to run Blender. The system can be fitted with a maximum of 1 gig of memory but from what I'm witnessing here 512 megabytes is fine for a machine like this. So in this case I have to correct myself, this machine is rendering pretty well. I'd say for a machine from 1999, this is a pretty good job that this machine is doing. Okay, it's almost done. And once the scene is finished, I'll just compare the time it takes to the last time of 9 minutes and 16 seconds. So let's see.
Okay, and this scene now took 4 minutes and 53 seconds to render. So you could say it's pretty much double the performance. It's not quite double, but it's pretty much there. So this just shows you if your software is set up correctly, then the machine will give you the performance that you want. And yeah, I would say that given what I see here, I'm far more impressed with the machine than I was earlier. Thanks for watching.